guys and welcome back to my channel I am Natasha Charmaine and if you are new here be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy this video hit the like button and to everyone else welcome back uh, also be sure to go ahead and hit that notification button so you can stay up to date on all of my videos so in today's video we are doing glam makeup okay so with valentine's day coming up uh we want to make sure that we're looking our best when we're going out to dinner when we're going out to party in my particular case i am going to a january holiday party yes i said january holiday party so the company that i work for we usually have our holiday party in january and so i'm looking for a go-to makeup that's pretty and glam and party-esque that I can don at this holiday party. So today we are going to be looking at some Tarte makeup which I will be trying for the first time with uh, sorry Tarte Cosmetics and um, the reason I like them is because they are vegan and they use fruits and plants for their products. Um, they're cruelty free basically and um, I'd like to give them a try. <laughs> I've been hearing really good things about them, so I've bought a few products. So this video will be of me doing my makeup, showing you how I do my makeup, and maybe you can take away some tips from that. I know everyone does their makeup differently, but I think the end result is what's important, and uh, how to achieve that is what we're going to be talking about today. Again, some of these products are from Tarte. Most of them are from Tarte. And I do have some of my old cosmetics that I've incorporated into this video. So with all of that said, if you are here for that, be sure to go ahead and watch this video. All right, guys, so we are gonna get started. Um, today, I'm gonna be working with the Gilded Glamour Amazonian Clay eyeshadow packet which I got from Sephora so this packet is a limited edition um, eye palette it has two palettes inside and I believe it retails for $54 and um, it comes with two beautiful palettes let me show you what we got so we have these two palettes um, which I'm really excited to use and the first one looks like this. These really beautiful colors. And then your second one looks like this, which has um, a lot of glamour in it. Uh, so these are really beautiful palettes. Let me see if I can show it to you like that. Yeah, so I'm really excited to get started on using these. Um, today we're going to create a party look, which is why these palettes are so perfect. And um, actually today I'm going to be using the palette that has uh, the colors Glamour and Rhythm and just basically a lot of party colors. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup party look. So... Let's get started. Now the first product that I'm going to use is the Amazonian Clay, Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation from Tarte. And uh, the reason why I chose to use uh, the Tarte products today is because their products are made from fruit and plant extracts and they have a lot of vegan friendly options in terms of their makeup. And right now I am on my vegan journey. So I'm doing a 30 day uh, raw vegan challenge. And uh, this year I'm just really all about being aware of the products that I'm putting in my body and the products that I'm using on my face. And so before I go on ahead and put on my concealer, I'm just gonna start with some primer which I'm gonna put on my face. And I just go on ahead and use my fingers to do that. I got into using primer once I found out how well it makes your makeup stay. And um, to me it's almost like putting makeup on, I mean, uh, lotion on your face. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. 
I'm going to use my found sealer brush from Tarte. And I'm just going ahead and put that around here. Now everyone's got their different ways of putting on their makeup. Me, <laughs> I believe in full coverage and then I go in and I do whatever highlights I need to do afterwards. So we're just gonna go on ahead and do our full coverage face, eyes, nose. I like this brush. Feels really nice. And all of the bristles and everything are vegan. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna use a regular old sponge to go on ahead and do that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows because I like a finished eyebrow look and it starts to make my face come together and it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. As you can see, I really don't have any eyebrows. So I really gotta kind of uh, shape them out and pretty much draw them on. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. All right, so when I do my eyebrows, if I'm doing like a glam look, I usually like for my eyebrows to be a little bit thicker than my average eyebrow wear, like when I'm going to work. So this is gonna have to do it for today. Next, we are going to get into my lashes. Tart palettes. So let's do the eyes. Now these brushes, eye brushes can become pretty confusing. So I know that I don't have the large blending brush and I don't have the flat shader brush, but what I do have is the tapered brush and we're gonna go ahead and use that one today. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer and um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my, all right, my eyes. So first I'm gonna start with this color it's Adorn, and I'm gonna use that on my brow bone. That's gonna be my brow bone shade. So let's get started with that. So I'm just gonna sweep this all over my eye. I already have concealer on my eye to help set all of the makeup that I put on my eye. So we're just gonna carry that all the way up to my eyebrow. And then we're gonna do the other side. All right, so there we have that. Next, I'm gonna go in with my transition shade and I think I am going to use Roaring. And so that's gonna help me transition from just this clear palette into something a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. Hope you guys can see this. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over here. And it really doesn't matter where I put it because once, once I start to clean it up, you'll see how it comes together. All right, 
called Jazz. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my crease color. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one called Jazz. And I'm gonna start in the corners and let that build a little bit before I come right on to my lid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, there we have it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that same crease color and put that on my lower lash. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And because I have hooded eyes, it's a little difficult for me to connect everything, so I may have to just pull my eye up a little just to get that connection. And just sweep that under there. There you go. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with my lid shade, and I think for my lid shade, I want to use this one, which is called Vintage, just to spice it up a little bit. I could go with the pink one, but I think I'm gonna go with that one. It's like a pinky gold. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that onto my lid. And just kind of build up on that. So that Now I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner, which I am not the greatest at, but we're gonna make it work. All right, that's that side. Let's go ahead and do the next side. All right, so this is what we've got. Now I'm gonna go in, you can hear Mimi in the background. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte lashes. So let's go ahead and put those on. So these are the Goddess Cruelty Free Lashes. My, my mirror is really far down here, so bear with me. It always takes me a while, so I'm going to go on ahead and do the other one. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We've got our lashes. And I wanted to do something right in the creases. Uh, so I was thinking something like this shadow right here. Or maybe even a little silver to go in the creases. So let's do that. Milan! Little girl. <laughs> little girl. And then I'm going to carry a little of that under my brow, under my uh, lash line.
All right, so there we have it. Let's move on to the cheeks. So I'm using my cheek brush from Tarte with an old cheek palette that I have. So we're just gonna go ahead and dust that on. Yeah, I like that. We're not doing any highlights or anything today. I'm not trying to do that much. <laughs> I think I've got enough highlight in my eyes for party glam. All right, I'm happy with this. Now let's move on to our lips. Yes. Now I have three lip colors from the Makuja Lip Balm line from Tarte. And um, these two are a little bit more uh, clear pinky. I think I'm gonna go more with this one, which is a little bit more brighter, more party-like. This one is called Hibiscus. I'm actually gonna just use the um, lip liner and line it on the outside of my lips. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab some of that. I don't want to use the full thing on my lip, not just yet. I want to make sure that I line up my lips well so that I get a good starting point. Okay, so this is what we have. And now I'm going to go in with a shimmer gloss that I've had previously in the middle. Just to spruce it up a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with our Tarte Blender brush. Just to finish up, we're gonna use some I'm sorry, not blender brush, powder brush. And we're just gonna put on some translucent powder just to set everything in. As you can see, I already took my hair down. I love this. <laughs> So there you have it guys <clears throat> that is my party glam look um i do have a holiday party coming up and i know it's after the holidays but this is just how we do things <laughs> where i work and so this is my glam look if anything i will probably either go with this look or a version quite similar to it and um i hope i did the look just this and you guys enjoyed this video uh, <clears throat> be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and um i'll see you guys back in my next one bye